Welcome! I'd now like to explain to you how can we can link published data, for example ECB data on selected Euro area statistics and national breakdowns published on the ECB website into the UDC. For example here the ECB offers data on monetary and financial institutions. Here we have a nice table of the data. And down here the ECB also offers the same data as an STMXML file. And this file we would like to link into the UDC so that we can access the data in the same way as, for example, the balance of payments data that we looked at before. So first step, I copy the shortcut, copy shortcut to this file, and then I go back to the sandbox. I'm here in the Unified Data Catalog and I see that, for example, for the ECB at the moment I only have exchange rates. I don't have money and banking statistics in here for the ECB. So what are the steps that I need to follow? First of all, obviously, I need to come back to the old rule of having a data structure definition defined for the data. So I go to Sandbox Structures, and I have a shortcut here already. I go to Structures, and I have already preloaded the data structure definition from the ECB into my registry. And I look at the data structure definitions, and here's the one from the ECB, Balance Sheet Items, which has quite a number of dimensions. Now, in future, we would expect that we would not have to bother with loading the data structure definition into the registry because we would expect that published data would have the related data structure available in an STMX global registry so that we would not have to do this step. However, for the sake of the sandbox exercise, this is still necessary. In addition, as we already know, I have to define a data flow, data provision agreement, and I also add into my category scheme, which I have here, a category for the ECB monetary statistics to which I can then link the data flow. The only thing that remains is to now perform the actual link of the data file to the sandbox, to the registry. So I want to report data to the UDC. I want to register a file. I want to register the file against the ECB BSI provision agreement. I want to enter a URL, copied before and I'll paste in here and I register the file location. What is happening now is that the UDC picks up the file and analyzes it and sets up a constraint so that I can later on when I browse the data in the UDC can have the information for which members of the various dimensions the file actually contains data. We will see that later on when we look at the data. The registration has been successful and we can now access the Unified Data Catalog. Here we are in the catalog. We browse the data. We now have ECB monetary statistics and the data flow related to it and we have some data. I would like to point out the following that at the moment the data type dimension is under the fixed dimension in our Unified Data Catalog GUI because all the data that are contained in the file provided by the ECB that we have just linked relate to outstanding amounts at the end of the period. We will see how this changes once we register another file that contains another data type. So we're back at the ECB page with the data. We had already linked a file from here and we've now decided we also want to link this file here to the UDC. We follow the same procedure as before. We pick up the link to the STMXML file from down here, copy shortcut, and in the area to report data to the UDC we register a file similar as before. We don't have to add the data structure definition because we've already done that before and this data follows the same data structure definition as the file that we've registered before. We register the location, which was successful, and we go back to the UDC. We're back at Browse Unified Data Catalog. We go out to our ECB Monetary Statistics data flow, and you will now notice that the data type dimension is now under the dimensions where we can actually choose data. So let's do this. Let's choose a few countries. Data type. So check both data types and we have now nine series that we
So we have now linked two ECB data files to the same data flow here, so we see them together in the Unified Data Catalog. We can navigate through both files and the content of both files in one go in the Unified Data Catalog. And that's it. Thank you.